Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for March 11th, 2015. It is a mild morning out there with very dense fog throughout much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area and a few passing showers as well as a steady heavy rain has exited the region for this morning. Looking at temperatures in the upper 30s over the far northern interior, lower to mid 40s in the New York City metropolitan area, and mid to upper 40s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area as mild air streams into the region. This mild condition will linger on through this afternoon with high temperatures in the lower to mid 50s for this afternoon, leading to, I think we're going to see a little bit more cloud cover than what the model guidance is suggesting, so I'm keeping low clouds in the forecast until early this afternoon. That's primarily due to our melting snowpack, adding some moisture to the atmosphere, and thus, that's why we see the locally dense fog in place, and uh, that fog is going to be a little bit slow to lift throughout this morning, and we're going to end up with low clouds as a result for early this afternoon but by later on this afternoon we'll be clearing out with temperatures in the 50s this evening will be rather comfortable with temperatures falling into the 40s with clear skies and high pressure taking control on the radar we could see showers moving through the region again they're becoming widely scattered at this point we have one more slug of moisture that is approaching from the Tennessee River Valley, but most of this will be suppressed to our south, but again keeping a threat of showers in the forecast until early this afternoon before everything clears out for the rest of this afternoon. The evening rush hour will be dry with clearing skies and temperatures rather comfortable. When we take a look at the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see our low pressure system streaming right along our cold front now this is associated with the subtropical jet stream and we have the polar jet stream and well to the north we have the arctic jet stream the arctic jet stream will have no influence on our weather pattern whatsoever over the next seven days however this polar jet stream with the series of cold fronts will be a, pes a pesky problem as we move on through this weekend which would looks like to be a complete washout with periods of moderate to heavy rain on saturday and into sunday so let's take a look at our latest model guidance from the Penn State UL website. I'm going to use the European model guidance for today. And again, for today, we have showers lingering into the early afternoon and clearing skies this evening. Temperatures rising into the lower to mid 50s. For tomorrow, high pressure in control. Low temperatures are in the lower to mid 30s over the interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. High temperatures tomorrow. Pretty much where they should be for this time of year in the mid to upper 40s for highs we could see a few 50 degree temperatures in the philadelphia metropolitan area uh, those would be isolated though for the most part we're dealing with temperatures between 47 and 49 degrees now things get interesting on friday clouds will increase as high pressure shifts to, to the east of the region look for low temperatures on friday pretty much our coldest temperatures of the seven day period in the mid to upper 20s throughout the region. Again, you got light winds, clear skies, perfect situation for those temperatures to fall off into the 20s. But by the afternoon, with a southerly wind, those temperatures will rebound into the mid to upper 40s, possibly even a few lower 50s mixed in there in your urban locations. Now, this disturbance and this disturbance will interact. This is part of the polar jet stream and this is part of the subtropical jet stream. So one will have the colder air and the other one will have the moisture. However, notice as far as 850 millibar temperatures, all our Arctic air that we saw this winter is locked up where it belongs in the Arctic and over northern Canada. Meanwhile, we're dealing with a modified Pacific air mass. And you can already see we're above freezing at 850 millibars with this setup evolving for Friday evening. So then by the time we get to Saturday, what we're dealing with is a strong polar disturbance interacting with some subtropical moisture. So we have a low pressure system lifting up to the Great Lakes. At the very start of this precipitation on Friday night, there could be a little bit of sleep mixed in. No accumulation, but don't be surprised if you hear a ping here and there at the very start of this precipitation. However, this is primarily a rain event for Saturday and for Sunday with some very heavy rainfall and I'm concerned about two factors. One, locally dense fog because our snowpack, especially over the interior, will be rapidly melting. And the other factor here, because of the frozen ground and because of the snowpack in place, 
there will be a threat for localized flash flooding and urban flooding with this heavy rainfall. So please use some caution and just be aware, don't drive into roadways that are submerged. It is typically a bad idea. By the time we get to Sunday evening, we'll have skies starting to clear out. Temperatures for this weekend range from the mid to upper 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. For low temperatures, high temperatures, raw and ugly out there, basically in the mid to upper 40s over the interior and upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. A raw, wet, ugly weekend on the way. Of course, once you know it, high pressure returns in time for Monday and for Tuesday. With scattered cloud cover and temperatures generally near normal for this time of year, upper 20s to lower 30s for lows, and mid to upper 40s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast for highs. Now, one thing I just want to point out, yes, this is a developing negative NAO pattern. Yes, you do have a ridge in the west. However, notice the finer details. When we take a look at the 850 millibar temperatures, all your Arctic air is locked up in the Arctic and also in northern Canada, especially around the Hudson Bay. Your air mass that impacts the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, which is right here, is basically from here, Quebec and uh, northwestern Canada, and a little bit of the Yukon Territory, so right around this area right here. So what does that mean? Well, it basically means we have a modified polar air mass in place for the start of next week. So yes, it will be dry, it will be crisp out there with low humidity, but temperatures are pretty much going to be right around near normal for this time of year. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.